welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can see, I'm in a different scenario today, and that's because today I'm going to show you a few hot drinks, hot chocolates type things that I love for the Christmas season. Okay, as you can see, I've kind of got a cute little chocolate jumper on today because everything today, what we're going to do today, has something to do with chocolate because, you know, I am just in love with chocolate. Like, chocolate is my life. Like, where would I be without chocolate? Like, I really don't know. Okay, so the first hot chocolate I'm going to make today is just the original hot chocolate with kind of a different kind of touch. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is just a little bit of milk. Then we're gonna go in with the chocolate syrup and just pour that in until you like, pretty much. And then we're gonna go in with the Nothea on a spoon. I normally just put a teaspoon of Nothea to give it that extra bit of chocolate flavor. And then we put it in the microwave for exactly one minute. Mine is quite hot for one minute. And then in the meantime, we're gonna do the chocolate flakes. I just got some lint chocolate and started scraping, 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 so we had some chocolate flakes for the after effect. And then last but not least, like always, you need extra, extra cocoa powder for even more chocolatey flavor. And then we mix it all together until you see this kind of like caramel chocolate type look. It's just the normal, it doesn't look very strong right now. And then we put it in for another minute just so it's a little bit hotter. And then as soon as you hear the beep, 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 or whatever your microwave does, you take it out. And for the best part now is the whipped cream. Like, come on, guys. What is a hot chocolate without whipped cream, marshmallows, or just in the festive season, we always need chocolate. Like, chocolate and everything is what we need. Okay, now on the top, you can add chocolate syrup, which, oh my God, I just add more, add more, add as much as you want. And then I always add just a few sprinkles just to make it look extra cute because you know guys, I'm all about the extra cuteness, especially when it comes to sprinkles and put a little chocolate flakes on top. And then this is the finished look of the first hot chocolate, which Okay, so the second type of hot chocolate I'm gonna do today is the peppermint hot chocolate. So everyone has gone to Starbucks and has tried the peppermint one, but here's my type. Okay, so the first thing is obviously the milk and then we're gonna come in with some coffee, which, you know, I have my own coffee maker, so that makes it all better. And then we're gonna put a peppermint packet and put it in the microwave for exactly one minute, which is gonna give us the peppermint flavor. And then we're only gonna pour half of it into the hot chocolate mix, put some hot cocoa or any type of cocoa into the mix. And to give it that extra bit of flavor, definitely have to put some chocolate syrup. Like, come on guys, that makes everything 100 times better. Just a bit of chocolate syrup, mix it all up together. And if you wanna put a bit extra cocoa, that is fine. Then, as always, we have to put an extraordinary amount of whipped cream because, you know, we always have to go over the top with whipped cream. Like, you kind of have to, to be quite honest. And then I just thought of putting a cute little candy cane in because that gives it another uh, minty flavour. And then we're just going to go in with some sprinkles and with the chocolate flakes that we made earlier. And I think that really does give it that extra Christmassy look. And then, you know, guys, here is the finished look, which I think this looks amazing like wow okay so for the last and final hot chocolate this is going to be the typical salted caramel hot chocolate which honestly has to be one of my favorites once again we're going in with the milk then with the coffee like last time to be quite honest i don't love coffee but this one is a good chance at it then we're just going to go in with some normal cocoa powder, which I normally put two to three spoonfuls, depending on how chocolatey I want it. And then we're just going to go in with the best part, of course, which is the caramel syrup, which I just put loads and loads and loads in, to be quite honest. And then we're going to mix it all together just until you really like. And then obviously the whipped cream like the whipped cream is the best part of doing a hot chocolate like come on guys and then all we need to do is decorate the final touches candy cane sprinkles chocolate flakes what else do you need 
And that is the finished look for this one of a kind caramel one. Okay guys, so that was all of our hot chocolate ones. Mm. I honestly, do you know what I love about doing this video? And I've had to drink all of them and I've got to drink all of them now. No deal whatsoever. Okay guys, well like I always say, if you've gotten this far to my video, then two claps for you. Thank you so much for watching these kind of DIY hot chocolate type things. Please tune in for tomorrow's video. Bye.